The recent winter storm was as tricky to drive through for Springs police as it was for us. Several officers say making it up steep hills was difficult, if not impossible. KRDO News Channel 13, Scott Harrison is live at one of those hills tonight that gave drivers trouble last night. We're talking the Fillmore Hill. Enough said right there, Scott. A lot easier tonight than this same time last night. Yeah, JJ, as you said, just say the Fillmore Street Hill. That's enough said. People know what you mean when that happens and the snow starts coming down. Now, Springs police, fortunately, have a variety of vehicles in their fleet, so they don't have to rely on just one vehicle when the wintry weather comes. And earlier today, we got a look at the fleet. Most of the police fleet consists of older rear-wheel drive vehicles that need chains for traction. And so we have um, different facilities across the city where the officers can go and get their vehicles chained up on the rear wheels. Police also have a variety of newer vehicles with front-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, and SUVs with four-wheel drive. They're the first to go out on patrol when snow falls. And we haven't had to worry about blizzards like the one in 1997 recently, but just in case we do get one of those, the police department has four of these Hummers ready to go in case of an emergency. But don't expect the Hummers to replace the entire fleet. Um, it would always be a perfect world if we could have all all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive vehicles. However, um, that's not a reality. So um, we learn to make the best of the vehicles that we have, and, and that's why we use the chains. Police say response times may get longer, but not seriously so in wintry weather. Police say many of their weather-related calls are responding to traffic accidents, so we can make it easier for them and us by slowing down. And Spring Police also say that giving them plenty of room and emergency vehicles plenty of room as well will make winter driving much smoother and safer as well. We're live on the Fillmore Street Hill in the Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.